Residents of Obaranje area in Ikotun, Lagos, have cried out for help over the continuous robbery attacks and rape by unidentified men. They want the state government to deploy security personnel to the area as they have not been sleeping with their eyes closed. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Olobokun, reports. In this very community, as you can see, this very place where I'm standing is an area where some sets of, uh, you know, if you like, call them hoodlums or uh, nutrients were actually took uh, that, that time in a course in Avok to this very place where they actually end up killing one person, one security guard, and injuring another. There is probable fear in the air as plausible news arrives the community. Residents say they are being the continuous targets of robbery and rape. It was around uh, 3 a.m. to 4 that the, um, all those boys, numbering about uh, over 20, they came to this uh, Amos uh, Akindayo, Amos Akindayo Street. And then uh, I did let have a, a night guard. Okay. But uh, immediately the night guy saw them. He called for reinforcement. I mean, for other night guard to help. But along the line, they discovered that uh, all those boys are many with cutlass, uh, um, hammer. Mention is a lot of dangerous weapons. This woman's husband survived death by the whiskers in one of the recent attacks. We are not safe. Even if we have security, we are not safe. Because they, call, they kill the, the security man. So we are not safe. So I don't know what to say oh, just for me to thank my God that I'm still alive and my husband is still alive. We are told that residents decided to be part of the voluntary vigilante to ward off the criminals. However, this woman's husband was killed on one of the watch nights. The incident happened very early in the morning when someone came to call me, telling me that the hoodlums were around. Immediately, I called my husband's phone but could not reach him. I then stood and went looking for him, but after some time, I came back home, and at daybreak, I was told by my neighbor that my husband was dead, of which I refused bluntly. And those that were there told me that he was macheted. But in all, what has happened has happened. From the grapevine, the robbery attacks here have been going on since COVID-19 lockdown in 2020 by an unidentified group called One Million Boys. This was happening around 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 30. Okay. So By then, the chairman has called the, the police station. Okay. So before the, uh, the, 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 uh, the police came here, so by the time they came, you know, you know, they we just when I woke up, I just saw people around, okay. you know, rush people. What is happening? What is happening? So seeing people now, you know, I discovered that uh, you know this was happening that uh, one one of the security was killed. The day it happened, it happened around 2 a.m. and I heard gunshots. I thought it was the vigilantes, but not long after, they came to our home trying to force their way in, which they eventually succeeded, and they drew their guns and matchets towards us, demanding we give them what we have, like money and phones, and the money they collected from us was 60,000 naira. Every government pledges to secure the lives and property of its people. But as it is, the pledge is yet to have much impact on a barangay. The residents want an immediate deployment of the police to the area. From a barangay in Lagos, Emmanuel Udlububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.